We're here at ITU Telecom World 2012 and I'm very pleased to be joined by John Davis, who is Vice President for the Intel World Ahead Program. John, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. It's great to be here, Max. This is a wonderful event to be part of. There have been a lot of debates and a lot of talk recently about the incredible transformation in the ICT sector. I wanted to find out from you what you think is the principal opportunity arising from this transformation. Well, the, really the big opportunity is reaching more people and reaching them in ways that it benefits their lives. So the big programs we've been part of with Telecom World and ITU have been prepaid broadband, um, just like the prepaid cell phone, much more people can afford. We've been involved in education transformation and we've been involved with announced the World Healthcare Programme today that we're part of and just the enormous different array of devices. It's computers, it's tablets, it's smartphones and they're reaching far, far more people with value to their lives. Now you're also a commissioner for the Broadband Commission for Digital Development. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about your involvement there. Yeah, I've been a member of the Broadband Commission since the very, very beginning. I've attended every meeting there and I've seen some amazing progress. I think the drive of ITU, the passion of Carlos Slim, Paul Kagami, Irene Bokova of UNESCO to lead this has just brought around some amazing transformation. Um, we've been able to talk about our programs on prepaid broadband and low-cost PCs and get an incredible support of countries and industries. We've been able to show the commissioners look at the use of universal service funds in countries like Turkey or Nigeria that are driving complete transformation of their education process and explain those and have the people sitting in the room there that make the decisions, that have the resources at their fingertips and can make this happen in their countries or globally. And so it's an amazing body and I'm just delighted to be part of it. What are the projects that Intel has been involved with recently? Well, the biggest ones, obviously, is to reach more people, prepaid broadband, to drive education transformation. So we're involved with the teachers, training teachers. We've trained 12 million teachers to use a PC in the classroom and do it with confidence in front of kids that grew up with technology. We've worked programs with content in schools and equipping them in ways that their investment's protected and you can actually transform education. So education's been really one of our biggest drivers. It's where we're investing the most. And we have targeted PCs for kids. They're rugged, drop them on the floor, spill the liquid on them. How do I connect? How do they become theft-proof if someone takes it, it stops working? And put these kind of networking in classrooms that the teacher can see what the kids are doing, the kids can interact with the teacher and they can do that. So those are just massive, massive programs for us um, that are making a difference. And what are the major challenges that you're facing at the moment? Well, the challenge is always getting people engaged in ways that are meaningful to them. There's lots of different choices for everyone. Um, you have to think this out as a plan. So in education, if you think of it like, okay, I'll get this device or this tablet or this smartphone or this laptop and you treat it like it's a hardware program, you're not going to transform education. How do you connect the schools? How do you train the teachers? What's the electronic content? Where is my assessment? How do I tell if this is working? What is my next five years plan going to look like? And to get those plans, and typically they don't span one group in government. They span ministers of education, ministers of IT, ministers of finance to pay for this, um, heads of state that have to be behind doing this for their country because it's major investment. So getting everyone together on a common page and then the industry players supportive of that is usually the biggest challenge. But does it feel like one big community or is everybody pulling in different directions? It's getting closer and closer. Bringing the plans together, we've seen transformations we have examples, we can point to countries. Those countries are very proud of what they've been doing, so they're delighted to share why it worked for them. And they'll go around, people will go to their country. And the plans are getting easier because there's proof points. Five years ago, you couldn't point to anyone and say, this is a great job done. Today, you can. You can say, Portugal, every child has a laptop, they've been using it for three years, they've learned many things, they can share what they did right. They can also share probably what they wouldn't do again, how to, you could do it better than they did. And so those proof points exist and that helps a tremendous amount. 
We're here at ITU Telecom World 2012. You've, you've got a big stand here. I know that you've had a uh, presence here for, for, for a number of years. Uh, just really wanted to find out really what you are hoping to be the outcome from this particular event. And also, I suppose, do you have a key message that you'd like to deliver to, to our uniquely influential audience? Well, what we have got out the stage is we showed tablets there, we showed phones, we showed kids' PCs, connected with teachers' PCs, how you can network them, and so we showed a complete array of technology and some of the solutions around that, and ministers came through the booth every few minutes to see this, we gave them the two-minute tour, and they went, oh, I want to follow up on that, or this is an interesting area, so it really got exposure of the capabilities that we can bring and that partners can bring to many, many people that we wouldn't normally have been able to do. Now, if I can leave one message, it's the leaders, the ministers are here. They make decisions. It's a time of transformation. The capabilities exist. Let's be bold together and do the right things for the country, the kids, the economy, because ICT can make those changes, but it needs cooperation. We're all here. Let's cooperate and look back a year from now and say, we made this difference here and be proud of it. Great words. Thank you very much indeed for your time today, John. Great. Thank you so much, Max. Delightful to be here.